ask you about um, last year you had uh, Pascal as a starter for 37, sort of because of circumstances, obviously, with Jared going down and stuff. Did, did that at all play into the OG experiment this year, like the, the success you had with that last year? Like, you know, did a trial run, saw it work? Well, it did. You know, anytime you have an injury, your whole mantra is first man up, I mean, next man up. And luckily, uh, our guys were ready to do that. And the same now, we can't panic because someone is out. Guys work hard, uh, getting ready for the next opportunity. And um, you know that that helps. That's always been our, our mantra is is to make sure the next guy's ready. And and we've done guys have done that. Did it give you a better comfort level though, having seen you know you had some success with it? It did. It, I get. You can't. Your expectations of a, a rookie in the in the starting five can't be that high. But it worked to a degree last year, and then you kind of able to go back. Through. Well, Pascal did a good job last year, and then the you know the NBA they scout, they understand, and one great beautiful thing that young man has done is worked on his weaknesses, which was his ball handling, his ability to take up the slack when teams back off of him, uh, and until he's a three-point shooter, they're going to continue to do that. And he's adjusted to that now. He took that experiment last year where he started with 38 games. Okay. It has been a tremendous help as a rookie. Uh, and again, these games that um, uh, that uh, OG is starting is going to help him tremendously in the future. So, And it helps our organization. But the hardest thing to do is to win and develop at the same time. And, uh, you know, fortunately, we, luckily, we've done it. Fortunately, we've done it. Those guys have contributed to winning and OG, at, you know, at a high level. So uh, whoever takes up uh, OG spot going in the future um, is going to have an opportunity to, to continue to be next man up. Dwayne, it seems crazy. 60 games into the season, essentially. Do you still think that opposing teams at times are caught off guard by the quickness, the athleticism, the activity in your second unit, especially? Well, again, it's a skill. You know, I wouldn't say they're, you know, the thing, what they do every night, they play hard. I, I couldn't tell you one, you know, they, they're a good passing team, they're a good moving team. Uh, but I couldn't tell you who's going to score in that group, you know, unless CJ's hot. But they do a great job of finding each other, making each other's job easy. Um, but again, uh, you know, it, you see some teams get prepared, and like Milwaukee kept a lot of their starters in. They got them out early, got them back in, so they could go against the second unit. So you're seeing that some now where they're trying to keep more starters on the floor to go again, and that's a, a credit to the second unit that other teams are adjusting their rotations to play against them. So my thing is, you know, last night I thought they got off to a slow start. The nights that they are see themselves kind of in mud or whatever, and where we have to bring Kyle back in early, they got to find a way, energy-wise and focus-wise, to get back into it and and bring the level of play that they used to bring. And there's been nights they haven't done that. Is is that a concern at all, or, or maybe a concern isn't the right word? Is it something that you're thinking about come playoff time that it's not going always going to be second unit on second unit? They are going to try and get their starters back on, and then the, right. you know the chess game of you adjusting. Right. That's that's going to be a, a you know chess game is the chess game for the other team. Right. You know they you know, some teams going to have to adjust to us. Uh, and again, our guys have had success against the second, the first unit guys. So, um, you know, it, it, let it begin because we're, you know, we got to be who we are, and not go crazy making massive changes, adjusting because the so-called NBA uh, workbook says you got to adjust and change. And you know, we'll we'll make the right adjustments at the right time, and it may not be analytically uh, beautiful or what so and so at this juncture says that we should do but it's going to be the right thing for our team coming out of training camp where would you say pascal was in, in your rotation coming out of training camp first he was in the he was in our he's in the rotation just with his energy uh to, but to say that we were going to trust him to bring the ball down the floor yeah. initiate offense run our secondary break i wouldn't have said that but i would have said that he had worked hard and earned uh, all the summer minutes, significant minutes, just because I watched him work last summer down in L.A. and how hard he was working every day. And so um, I knew that he was he was going to get minutes. Now to say that he was going to come in and be a, a point four, a point forward, I wouldn't have said that. And anybody who said that is lying.
Dwayne, in this era where guys are running to the three-point line, how much different is, is it to have a guy like Pascal who actually rim runs, gets to the front of the rim? That is a gift, Sherman. I, that's, uh, to, I told him after the game last night, he, he won that game just with his energy and speed. It wasn't anything, you know, uh, skill-wise, wasn't three-point shooting, it wasn't any, you know, jump shots. It was his running that really set the tone for us and, and Orlando came to a point and said, you know, they, their give a crap level dropped because he was just running every time. And that's, that's something that's hard to do in this league is to run the floor every time. And you may only get it once out of six or seven times, but that one time deflates the team. And that's what he did last night. And my hat's off to the young man, and I just hope he can maintain it 25 more games and 30 more games after that. There are guys who can run in the league, but he's a natural runner. Can you kind of break down the difference in that? Well, some of the guys you have to say giddy up. And uh, Pascal is a kid where you just have to say, whoa. And, you know, he, it's just who he is. He's a natural runner. He wakes up and runs. A lot of things, why aren't you a running team? Well, I, we got guys that are not natural runners. And to say giddy up every time down the floor doesn't work in this league. So, you know, he's one of those kids that's a natural runner. He runs hard every time. There's quite a few in our league. And luckily, we have one of the elite runners in our league that uh, that draws it should draw a lot of attention and, and in turn it's going to open up trail jump shots trail threes or another action uh, coming down the floor behind him.